Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 23rd of 2023, and I'd like to share another message with you from the Lord this morning. The Lord has been speaking to us about the great work that He is doing in His church in these last days. And this word today is another word that will encourage each one of you who are in Christ Jesus that there is great hope for these end times and we can expect great things in the days ahead. In this word today, the Lord addresses the issues amongst his own people. We understand that we have a very real adversary, the devil, and our adversary continues to harass us. Though we have made a commitment to Christ and have made choices that come into alignment with his word, the enemy will be looking for and will find loopholes in our devotion to the Lord and will find ways to harass us and to cause us to stumble. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that he is intervening to set us free from any entanglement with the enemy and that he is giving his people power to walk in victory and also to set the captives free. I hope you will be blessed as you hear this word today because the Lord is about to pour out his spirit in portions unknown. It is by the power of the spirit that the enemy will be defeated in our lives. This word today is titled, A Great Outpouring. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 31, verse 24. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. The scripture verse is straightforward. It is a word to encourage us all to stand tall, to be strong. Do not be discouraged because God will come through for us. Joel 2 verse 29 Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. This scripture speaks of God's promise to pour out his spirit upon all mankind. I'll begin this word. Follow my lead. Do not get sidetracked. Do not get tossed aside, but press in to take the land, says the Lord. I am giving you the land, and you shall reign and rule in righteousness. I have opened the door for you to enter into the full calling that is upon your life. You will marvel as you see me strengthen you in the midst of the assembly to proclaim my righteousness and call down the high places. I have put my sword in your hands, and you shall wield it with great agility. You will not be moved by circumstances, but your focus shall be upon the Lord your God, and you shall go forth in the power and anointing of his name to slay every giant in the midst of the congregation." I am increasing my spirit within you. I am increasing the power of my might within you. And you shall run and not grow weary. You shall go forth to storm the gates of hell and take back what is mine, setting the captives free and bringing sight to the blind. For deep darkness has been upon the people. 
but my light is rising upon my people in this day, and it shall break through the storm clouds and dispel the darkness. There has been no other day like this. Multitudes shall be free from the tauntings and bindings of the evil one. They shall leap and dance and praise their God for his faithfulness to deliver them from the snare of the fowler. Get ready, says the Lord, for I am about to thrust you out into the highways and byways. You will be amazed at the power you see flowing through you. You will see the countenance of those you speak to and minister to change before your eyes. All walls of wickedness and every pretense shall come crumbling down, and those you share the word of life with will fall to their knees in humility and repentance. I am doing it, says the Lord. I am pouring out my spirit upon all flesh, and every man woman and child shall see that the Lord is God. They shall see the sons of God revealed in this day, for the glory of the Lord shall surround them and encompass them, and the brightness of their countenance shall draw men from every walk of life to the Father." You will see this right before your eyes. You will see how I break down barriers that have held the people at a distance from me. I am removing every hindrance, says the Lord, every stumbling block, and the roadway shall be made clear, and multitudes shall be turned from sin and put onto the way of holiness." the way that leads to life. No longer shall the prince of darkness hold them bound, for I am releasing them out of the hands of the enemy and ushering them into my kingdom. Every mystery shall be unfolded in this day. Every revelation that has been withheld from the people is being released, and the eyes of the blind are being opened to see the presence of the Lord in all the earth. Sickness and death shall no longer hold the people bound, for they shall be lifted up, have resurrection life breathed into them, and they shall be snatched up to the Lord. The days are few before the Son of Man shall come to the earth in his fullness. Multitudes who sleep in the dust shall be raised up, and the earth shall quake, and signs and wonders as have never been seen or known shall be released upon the earth. This is the day of the Lord and of his fury and vengeance upon the evil doer. Every door is opening, and prisoners are being released to go forth into everlasting life. I am doing a great work among the people, says the Lord. I am removing every fleshly desire in their hearts and implanting the Father's heart into them. Their thoughts will line up with the will of the Father. They shall no longer stumble and fall, but they shall be led in a way that they should go. They will no longer find pleasure in worldly pursuits, for I am removing every ungodly passion and replacing it with passion for Jesus, a fire burning within that cannot be dampened, and I will increase the fire that burns within the hearts of the people to worship and honor the King of kings and Lord of lords. This fire of passion shall burn fervently, and nothing will be able to quench it, for it has been birthed within my people 
by the power of my might. It shall consume my people, and they shall march forth, proclaiming the goodness of God, taking the ground out of the enemy's hands, and claiming it for the Lord. Do not grow weary in well-doing. The Lord your God is faithful to his promises, And he will reward those who do not give up hope, but who wait upon him for guidance and help. Put no confidence in the flesh. Submit yourself in humility before the Lord, and he shall lift you up. He shall establish you upon a solid foundation, upon the rock of your salvation. The Lord is encouraging us not to give up, to be strong, to hope in God and trust that he is doing a great work in this day, that he is pouring out his spirit in measures unknown, and that the results of that outpouring will bring his people into victory, setting them free from every harassment of the enemy because his light is being poured out and the darkness will have to flee. God's glory will encompass and surround his people and its impact will destroy the works of the enemy even in the lives of others. We will see the signs, the wonders, and the miracles spoken of in the scriptures taking place in this day. Instead of stumbling along, we will be put on a track that causes us to pursue the Lord with all of our heart, with godly passion for Jesus, a fire burning within us that the Lord is telling us will not be quenched, a passion birthed by the Holy Spirit within us that will consume us and cause us to walk in victory. I hope this word today has brought encouragement to your spirit. Our God is a faithful God who brings forth all of his promises in our lives. He has promised that he will build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against her. He will liberate us and set us on fire for him. May the Lord pour out his spirit upon all of us in great measure and bring us into the fullness of his promises in this day. Be blessed and encouraged. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.